Yeah. I'm down on my knees, but I'm looking up. I need me some help. Don't have any luck. I want to give up. The shit getting tough, but I got to get it. The shit is a must. Power 92, number one in the streets. Your boy, High Rod, the lid pit, in for the fag, man. And this is a special uh, night on a Friday. You just don't get it, I guess, on Friday. But this, hey, I'm happy this brother is in here. My brother, four. What's up, man? Man, right. What's up, man? man How we, you? Chicago, look, what it do? We got a lot to talk about, man. <laughs> oh, my God. First off, I'm going to say thank you for coming to the show because this is like, we talked about this years, years ago. ago. Yeah, we spoke into existence. That's how it <laughs> like, goes. Yeah. Super years ago, man. I just want to I just want to share that with everybody that's in this room. You was tattooing my, like, he did my whole left arm, um, tattooing my arm, and we talked about this. He was playing music for me while he was tattooing my arm. Like, man, bro, you going to be on the radio. I'm, I'm going to be, you know, rapper. We're going we gonna to do this. And, <laughs> like, it was just, it was one of the moments, like, super dope, man. And I'm glad, like, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm glad I get here. Like, I'm, no, for real. we in front of each other. We no, talking. You me both, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I respect you. Like, honestly, like, Outside looking in, you know what I mean, and being in Chicago, I feel like you the you one of the realest dudes doing it right now for for Chicago. For you really putting the city on, you you know uh, bringing awareness to artists that don't get the, the you know, that gets overlooked. Like you know what I'm saying, like the city sal- salute you for that. Like me personally as an artist, like I'm, I can't say nobody that's really doing what you're doing right now for the city. That's go be honest. That's love, and I know you, I know you put that in your IG story too, and I appreciate that you was writing down, and I was playing, uh, yeah, 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 I was playing yeah. Green Light Go, that's <laughs> like one of my favorite tracks from you, bro. So. Uh, you see Nafis in here. Got the Jukovic. <laughs> you might as well come in here. You might as well come in here. <laughs> nah, but we here, man. Uh, a lot's been going on since last time. We, like, actually sat down, you know, everything. Um, Black Ink Crew, everything. First off, how has that been? Um, well, I know um, I honestly took two months off, off filming. You know what I mean? I got to the point where it was a little overwhelming for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just kind of had a mental breakdown. Um, I think, and I know a lot of people have seen and reached out yeah. due to the last uh, week's episode that aired. Um, you know, I, I saw the footage before. You know, they, they showed me and asked me if I was okay to, you know, put it out because it was, it was real. Like, it wasn't no, no script. It was just something I really I had a moment. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I looked at the footage, at the time I was kind of coming out of that dark that dark place I was in. So, you know, I allowed them to, you know, move forward with it because I know I figured through my story it would help someone else, um, and not just that myself as well. You know, but um, you know when it aired, it, it, I only lied to you. It messed me up mentally. I, I, I'm still hurt. I'm not. I'm, I'm not 100. You know what I mean? It's still fresh. Yeah. Too much is still fresh. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, I thought I was strong enough to to take the pressure, and um, it just it it just felt like it just happened yesterday all over again. You know what I mean? Like it brought me right right back down memory lane. You know what I'm saying? Something I'm trying to come up uh, come up out of, but. You know, I'm strong enough to, uh, you know, tell it to the world, and I think that's what matters the most. And you got to ask you, because, I, I, like I said, I've known you. We, we talked, we hung out and everything, and I never, you know, you walk around with a smile on your face. You walk around, you, you cheer for everybody, you hugging everybody. Yeah. Like, what got you to that point? You know, um, you know, quiet is kept. You know, my brother always knew what I was going through, my mom, you know, um, and, you know, <clears throat> a few loved ones, let's say, that, that knew what I was going through. Um, it started... Really, like, in my childhood, you know, not having my father around in my life, uh, you know, um, being homeless, you know, just a lot of those things, uh, you know. And I took a lot of the weight, you know what I mean, uh, just being motivated by my mom. She was a construction worker, so, you know, I was just motivated through her and my grandma and everything. So, like, that was my my drive to to give back. And, and um, I reached a point where I was helping everybody else so much, I didn't realize that I wasn't helping myself, you know. So I wasn't strong enough to hold myself self up, but I was able to take everybody else's baggage without even putting myself first and handling my own, you know, and that was the biggest mistake I did because, you know, I got to this point now, you know what I mean, where I'm so vulnerable and I and I, I got a weak, I got to a weak point, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never thought it was going to happen, but, you know, it hit me, I hit me. And I, I know you recently just did the video, Help, was yeah. that? Yeah, you know, uh, it was just, honestly, the song Help was really just a cry for help, uh, not only for me, but, you know, I pay attention to what's going on out here, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people just see the light you know, and it, and it blinds the darkness, you know, of what's really going on. So sometimes you got to check on your strong friends. You have to. Yeah. And how important it is, I know um, Ryan Henry was like, man, you know, I love you. I love, how important it is for, for you to tell somebody you love them? Like, oh, man, you know, um, I mean, it, it's important, especially when you don't hear it a lot. Like me, um, I don't have, you know, I don't have a, 
a relationship. I don't have uh, a family. I don't have, you know, any kids or anything. So everybody around me, they have that, you know, they have a family to go home to. So, you know, um, my mom, my family, they, they stay in Atlanta. So I'm, a lot of the times, I'm, I'm, if I'm not with whoever I'm dating at the moment, I'm alone or I'm just in a room where I'm creating music or tattoo, whatever it is, staying in a creative space to stay away from reality because in my reality, I'm really alone, you know, alone a lot of the times. So, you know, I didn't ever want to put my pressure on anybody else because I'm usually the guy that people call because, you know, I may not have as much going on besides me just working, you know, to sit and listen to what they're going through. And I know I always weigh my options out and I see what they really got going. Yeah. But, man, you know, I don't want to lay this, you know, extra stress on them. So, you know, I try to just, you know, handle my own battles. And after you announced everything and, it, um, like, the Don, like, Ryan and all them, mm-hmm. like, how, did they reach out to you? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody reached out to you, but I'm, mm-hmm. like, what was their words to you? Besides, we, I know we saw Ryan words. Yeah. But. Um, well, you know, me and my brother, we had lost our sister. You know, um, I remember that about a year or so ago. Um, she committed suicide. You know, so this was real close. This was another reason why I didn't really want to speak on it. You know, of how serious it got for me, especially to Don. You know, because he's a he's been through a lot, but he's like one of my best friends as well as my brother. So I didn't want to worry him. You know, he, he just had a, a newborn. I know there was a lot going on, but he always told me, like, man, I don't care what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? You helped change my life. You know, you helped me get out that dark place, so I'm going to help you. It ain't about you always being a big brother, you know? So now my little brother's becoming a big brother. Yeah. You know? Man. That's <clears throat> like, it's, just, it's hard, like, to, to see, you know, everything you're going through. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying not to get emotional because I, I know you're you know not. Yeah. Hey. I mean, trust me, like I said, I, I, I had a weak moment, you know what I'm saying, even just even just the fact of thinking that I, you know, reached this point. But, you know, the first thing to recover is to admit. What What's, what's um, like, I'm kind of like, man, hold on. <clears throat> um, what made you come out and, like, just tell everybody, like, like, why, 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 why was it so, like, you know, because people bottle, people bottle stuff in. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, it's better to keep the genie in the bottle, you know. Um, but in this situation, I felt like, you know, um, I knew I needed help. Like, I literally got to the point where I was, like, just, you know, I was in a bad place. So a lot of negative negative energy was around me. So, you know, I'm hearing voices, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing everything negative to do, but I'm just got, glad that I was strong enough to notice that this doesn't feel normal, you know what I mean? Uh, let me let me at least get it off my chest. I don't know who to really talk to. You know, I started doing therapy after, even after the episode you guys seen when I left. Yeah. You know, um, I just went to Atlanta to be around my family, just be around my loved ones, you know, that I don't have around me every day because they're living in a whole other state. So, you know, um, when you're around the love, it kind of it kind of keeps it cool. You know, um, when you have someone to talk to, one thing I learned, you know, by me getting it off my chest, um, it just allowed me to feel like this was the first step. This is when I knew I was doing the right thing, was getting it off my chest, yeah. you know, um, telling someone, you know, because never know who the next person knows to connect the dots to really get me to to the point where I feel okay or I'm helped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like, and not to knock the show or anything, do you yeah. feel like the show and, or do you feel like the fame that came with this, do you feel like that was a big part of, uh, you know, depression and everything? Um, like I said, I've been battling depression since I was a kid, you know, um, I could just say it added icing yeah. on top of the cake. You know what I mean? Most definitely. You know, uh, you, it, it, you never really can tell yourself how to prepare for something like that when you don't know what you're preparing for. You got to go through the motions, and you learn as you go. So, you know, those are the things that I was going through. You know what I mean? Um, just a lot. You know, sometimes, you know, my, my, homeboy, my homeboy Junior always tells me, like, man, for you got to start looking at yourself how other people look at you. Yeah. For me, that's hard to do. You know what I mean? Because I see the same person every day. I know my flaws. I know... I know what my mindset is sometimes, you know. So it's hard to really think that way, but I, you know, I ain't gonna say I didn't try. Thanks. Well, you know, I, I was li- I'm over here listening <laughs> to you Nathan, talk. What up, what up? What up? DJ Nafis checking in right now. Uh, uh, I'm listening to what you say about your childhood <clears throat> and how that kind of like play into what you doing, you going through as an adult. Mm-hmm. And what I do is I always try to tell people, man, you got to protect the kids. No matter Absolutely. what's going on in the child life, you know, it's like. What happens in a child life affects them as adults, and people don't believe that. That's the truth. And what I tell people all the time is evil is learned. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Stuff that go through you. I mean, of course, I'm a, I'm a Christian, man, so I everything you talking about to me sound like spiritual warfare to me. 
Mm. When you got thoughts in your head that's negative, telling you to do extra stuff, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. That's what they want you to do. It's all about suggestion. It's the same Absolutely. thing as what we tell people, hey, buy this. It's the same thing as somebody telling you, yo, do this to yourself. Mm-hmm. You're not worth it. Don't nobody care about you. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And those, those voices are there on purpose to take you out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. just like you said, you got love that come in the light. You know what I'm saying? That light up that, illuminate that room. Mm-hmm. And that's God right there. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Yeah. God is always there to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Through Jesus Christ. You know, I'm, I'm always going to talk about that all the time. Oh, man, I don't please, care. Please. Nobody we tell hear, me. We need to hear more of this. So more of this all the time. I ain't going to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's really what it is, man. It's spiritual warfare at its finest. You went through it. And I'm happy. Not that you went through it, but I'm happy that you allowed yourself to be vulnerable enough to let people see that. Millions of people to see that. Mm-hmm. Some people want to keep that bottled up. They don't want nobody to know what's going on with that. Everybody want to keep the smile on the face. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything cool. You know, I'm on TV. It's great. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, it's real out here. It's real out here, man. And, and that's the thing. Like, none of the fame or none of that really, like, got to me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I, I noticed the difference. You know what I'm saying? All right. But it don't, it don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I just accept it. Stay humble. Show love. You know, I never turn. I never turned nobody down to ask me for a picture while I'm out. Mm-hmm. I still do my job, and they don't even be knowing what I'm going through mentally, you know right? Because they see me, and they only go off of what they see on TV. So they feel they know me, and they feel like, oh, he cool because I just mm-hmm. seen him smiling last week on the episode, right. not knowing how long ago that was filmed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, mm-hmm. cause that's not that's not on them to think that way. You know what I mean? Right? They're 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 literally in a starstruck moment, or they're excited, and they know what's going on. It's trendy, yo. You know what I mean? I still got to smile. That's it. That's it. That's our job, man. Even for us up here, we all, all got to right. smile. <laughs> we all got to smile, smile, man. That's the thing. Like, like I try to keep away, you know, um, personal feelings with, you know, because, like, you got to sometimes put your most emotions to the side when handling business. You know Absolutely. What I mean? So that was a lot of things that I was trying to do. Mm-hmm. They clash. You know what I'm saying? In that situation, it really clashed. You know, and I, you know, I, I just, I was at a weak point. Well, I'm glad you're growing. You know, getting better and you and you allowing us to show your growth, you, yeah. you know, for people to, who might not be, you know, apt to putting themselves out there like that. Yeah. And they need guidance. You know, you giving that light to them so they can see that. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate that for real, man. No, I'm saying, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, happy that, you know, I'm still here. i um, happy that, you know, the response has been crazy. Not that I was looking for one, but to see that everybody... I'm not. I'm not alone. I think that's what the biggest thing is. It's like you know, this is actually a bigger matter that I feel gets swept under the rug or overlooked sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's not talked about enough. You know, these things aren't addressed. So, if I have to be the voice of that, so be it. Let's go. Uh, Definitely. And like I told you earlier on the phone, we was talking. uh, I went through the same shit. Like what last year? I mean, I ain't tell nobody up here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm open up now because I mean, like you, you, you making like is. It's okay to open up, but I mean, but people know about you know my father's situation, him losing his leg, yeah. diabetes, and everything, and just I mean, you know about it because we, we talk we about talk. it a lot. But uh, man, I, I went through the same shit sitting there with my mom telling him, like, hey, I want to commit suicide, you know, mm-hmm. et cetera, just because seeing my dad on life support and all that that just like really broke me down. But like you say, you, you never know what people are going through because they always up here smiling, and then that's with me. You, you mm-hmm. see me every time. We. Yeah, you, 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 you ton of joy every time I see you, you happy. Yeah. You, know, you that positive energy that people would love to be around. I'm trying to help everybody. I'm trying to get, you know, mm-hmm. I know these artists out here, they be like, man, you know, I, I need your help. I need you to put this on and all that. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that from you because you never, like, really, like, hounded me or said, like, hey, man, put my uh, song I, on. You know, because, you know, I, for me, it wasn't, it, it, like, for me, bro, it's never really about just me, you know. I just be happy for my people to see my people win, bro. Like, you know what I mean? That's what it's about. I'm just happy to see people winning, like. I can say I know you, you know what I mean? Um, and it's like, look where we are now. We're doing something like this where, you know, you allowing me to come here, you know, with your platform and to take over, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. an hour full of music. So, like, you know, I'm patient and I'm just grateful to know you, honestly. Uh, vice versa, bro. And, uh, man, this is like, you know I'm telling you, this is one of the moments. Personal. Yeah. This, you know what I mean? This is like dope. Shoot, Cody. <laughs> A lot of people don't know, like, this, man, this nigga go back. But, um, but just real quick, let me touch on something. Uh, um, it goes back to what you were saying when you said, like, you know, you always smile and this and that. One thing about that, Instagram, social media don't make it no worse. You know what I mean? Because when you're, you know, your job, when you're taking pictures, I feel, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's dopamine. So it's like they want, they want to feel 
It's about making you feel good. Mm-hmm. You, you need these supporters and people yep. you'll never meet again or see again to rank you, and you feel like you, you're all right. After that picture, after that post, after that, them comments, you still feel like a drag. Like, okay, yep. well, now I need another picture. Now I need another picture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, can I get a million followers? You know? So it's just like, like it, it, it don't make it no better, you know, because social it's like people can hide it. And it's the fact that, you know, with with TV and social media now going hand in hand, it's like I feel like I'm showing y'all what's really going on. You know what I mean? I'm giving y'all the real me, you know, and I'm just going to show how through this darkness I'm able to, you know, take the correct steps to I see the light. So I'm going to give them what's real, you know what I mean, when it comes to social media outside of my talent. I'm going to speak on, you know, these things, and uh, I'm going to continue to be the voice to help. Like, it has been people DMing me like crazy, and I, a few people I reached back to, you know what I mean, it just gave them motivation. Yeah. I see I see stuff like, man, for your, your song help save my life, people literally crying in videos. I've seen people saying, yo, I was going to, you know, kill myself until I seen you, you know, on TV, no, just stuff like that. It's like, you know, I, I still, I'm still a real individual. I'm going to go respond to something I can relate to or feel, feel like, yo, this person needs to hear something because yeah. ain't no telling what they're surrounding is. So, like, I like to use social media where, in my favor, it's going to work. Thanks. And I've, I've, I've secondhand that because <clears throat> I would say the song that I listen to the most from you, mm-hmm. Green Light, Go. That song motivates the fuck out of me for real, bro. Nah, like yeah, I literally, <laughs> I st- I just played that today. <laughs> that song motivated. That song motivated me to do like just just go just get and just get get, get top, yeah, shake tables and all that stuff. So uh, sure. while I'm on the topic of music, I know you got a lot of music in store. Yeah, uh, do want to take it back? You working with London on the track? Mm-hmm. How was that experience? Really, how was that experience? Okay, so this is what it was. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Simone in the corner because that's that's London people. Like, I met okay. I met. Him and London around the same time, let's just say. You know what I'm saying? And he was telling London about me before me and London actually met, so it just worked. You know what I'm saying? True. Shout out to Simone. Uh, <laughs> but no, London, that's my people, man. Uh, his family, he's actually from Chicago, too. His, his pops and them from Chicago. His mom's from around Oh, here. wow. Yeah, you know. Um, but uh, we, we still talk uh, outside of, you know, uh, what it was for the show. You know, uh, majority of it was, was I mean, I'm going to lie to you, majority of it was kind of, you know, scripted. You know what I mean? And... It was things that I didn't, you know, wasn't really okay with uh, how it was being produced, but I accepted it. And I know at the same time, London, he was doing his job. He didn't know how this, how this, this is his first time on TV, you know. But I had a relationship outside of that. You know, we still talk and keep up, yeah. you know what I mean? I still got records that I just decided not to drop personally because of what the show made it look like, you know what I mean? So I was like, you know what, I'm going to wait until we get back in the studio we go load up and do it the right way, and we go drop. You know what I mean? I still got the relationship. So, you know, I'm not in a rush just to do it for TV no more. You know, it's like, right. yo, if y'all go follow me, I'm going to give y'all the real, or it ain't happening. And that's just where I'm at now. And being an artist, was it like, was it tough? I mean, just him saying like, hey, say, I was watching this. Show, it's like, Let me tell you, we're going to keep it a buck or what? <laughs> but listen, when it, this is what happened. I go in there doing my thing. He rocking with me. The producers come in there and say, hey, hey, don't like his music yet. Don't like his music yet. You feel me? We can't do that. We got to build stakes. Say you don't like it. You know what I mean? So, Oh, build up. Okay. Because they want to build up state, uh, you know, stakes. My thing is, like, why are we building up stakes when I'm a season one nigga? I've been here from the from the, from the the beginning. You know what I mean? These been people been seeing the, the stakes yeah. build up. You know what I mean? So, like, don't break, you know, good relationships. You know what I mean? For, 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 ratings. for ratings. I don't believe in that. You know? Right. That's just where I'm at now, you know? And since we keeping a buck one hundred, I'll be watching the show. And I, in my mind, I just feel like the show is not being Chicago no more. It's just adding. It's just a show. Yeah, it's just it's, being it's, the show it's, now. It's not yeah, when the first season. And that's the thing. Like right, I can't say right now. You know uh, what? Me and the rest of the cast from Chicago, like the cast A. You know, yeah. the Ryan's, the Don's, the Vans. Um, we are trying to, you know, structure it back that way because. This is the city that we represent and where we're from. So we do want to, you know, because, like, they're going to sit up there and make us look any kind of way, and we're yeah. stepping, we're standing down now. Like, yo, we ain't going to stand alone no more. We're going to stand together until they respect it and do it our way, or we don't have to film this show. That's just what it came to. Like, we've been doing this for, what, five years now. We've been putting over yeah. the city. So y'all got to pay us some respect. You know what I mean? Because without us, there's no show. Please keep it Chicago. Keep it definitely behind, you know, and we appreciate the platform. It's a blessing because – we the only biggest show in Chicago that's ever been on this long, you know, yeah. consistently and touching millions of people, number one, every time we air, over every network, you know what I mean? And we appreciate that, 
But if we on number one TV show, make me feel number one too. That's facts. Facts, man. Um, man, do you plan on getting back on the show? Like, like after you took um, the months off, man. Um, currently, I'm, I'm back filming. You know what I mean? I, I just needed some time to myself, you know, to get my mind right. You okay. know, but yeah, I'm definitely uh back, back filming, doing what I got to do because um I still love my team. Yeah. I still appreciate my opportunities. Uh, I just gotta structure it my way in order for it to work in the long run. Because if the show get canceled tomorrow, I have to sit and ask myself, was it worth it? Did it, what did it do to my career? Did it help it? Did it damage it? Yeah. So now I'm to the point now. It's like make this work in my favor all the way. While I got it. And then speaking of the show and tattoos, you just did a tattoo. You just told me like you ain't did one in so long, and you <laughs> snap like. Thanks, man. What was the inspiration behind that tattoo? Like, what made you just like I'm going on this? The thing. craziest part, man. Hey, my phone about to die. My bad. That's to the laugh. Um. Anyway, um, the crazy the tattoo <laughs> I the tattoo I just did. Y'all can go look at it. It's on my Instagram. It's the last post. Um. No, it's actually the post before last. I'm sorry. It was um this guy, he was um he had to go do some time, and his son got killed in Chicago while he was locked up and he was trying to do anything to at least go to the funeral. So by the time, you know, he got out, you know, obviously he missed the funeral. Um, he had a lot of pictures from the funeral, and he had picked his favorite picture of his son, and he wanted to basically collide the whole thing together to, to do a you know, a, you know, something special for his yeah. son. So we did like a rest in paradise, you know, uh, King Tony. And then we put his brothers on the side that was at the funeral, letting go of the doves, you know. So I put it together. like So he wanted to feel like he was really, like he he shared that he shared that moment with his family and with his with the rest of his uh, sons for the funeral. So that's what I put together for him. That tattoo was dope as hell. Y'all definitely got to go see that tattoo. Like, no, what, what's I'm... crazy is it took four days to do it. The third day, the third day is when the episode aired. I, and I that was my intention to finish it. I, I broke down while I was tattooing, and I just told him like, "Man, I'm having a moment. Let's just do this tomorrow." You know, I, I stopped everything, and yeah. um, you know, he respected it. So it was hard for me to do that. I felt bad because I'm trying to help him heal. You know? Yeah, you. <laughs> it was crazy. Damn. You've been going through it, bro, man. I'm glad you're good. I'm yeah. glad you smile. You smile right now. Hoping yeah, this. I'm is, happy, man. I'm hoping everything you know? is good, right? Because we definitely about to turn up tonight. Uh, this yeah, is your cool. takeover at nine o'clock with Nafis. Uh, what music <laughs> you got in store for? You got an album coming out. Yeah, yeah, you're quiet as kept. February 26th. <laughs> We're going to drop uh, my Cake Project. You know? okay. Cake. <laughs> I ain't dropped the album cover yet, neither. I'm going to drop it. I'm just trying to figure out what day. What, what can people out. expect from this album? Um, honestly, the, the, the creative behind it is, is very simple. Um, you know, I, I actually, when I, when, I, when I got back, to Chicago, I just started lock, locking in the studio with Simone, and um, I start like I did like thirty songs in two weeks. I'm like, man, this is a piece of cake, you know what I mean? And that's what it came down to, you know. And that thirty times. How many to, tracks gonna be on this on the album? I mean, I'm only, you know, we gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do the whole duplex yet, but, but I got. What I'm saying is, I have enough that'll last me for the next, you know, years if I wanted to. But I mean, I'm still making music every single day. I'm talking about I'm doing three songs a day, you know, sometimes. So. It just depends. My work ethic has got crazy to the point where it's like, yo, this is this is simple now. This is a piece of cake. I'm just doing what I do, you know. And you know, we, we you know we just enjoy it. Me, you know what I mean? And it's a celebration, the- really. Like you know, in every in every you know party celebration, it's always a piece of cake. You know what I mean? Celebration, rep. Be proud of yourself. So it feels like it's it's a it's not a birthday album, but you know, it feels <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh, we gotta hear this, hey. Uh, we. Are we gonna get a couple of tracks tonight? We, 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 we can do it. Okay, we'll right, see, let's we'll check see. it. Yeah, we got, we'll, we'll get a little bit of taste of tonight. <laughs> and and hold on, I got a, I do got a surprise. I, I'm I'm dropping off my new single to you. You gonna have it first? Oh shit! Brand new single. Oh shit! New Ready single this? tonight. <laughs> you know, you know how y'all ran Shot Town. This is another. This this the this the, this one and them. <laughs> you know. All right. You know. Um, We'll get into that whenever we get into that. That's but we could definitely play this project, play some songs too. We definitely gonna do that. What's some uh, other artists that you've been listening to outside of yourself? Um, dang, this part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's okay. No, 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 no. no real, real talk. Uh, you know, I, I support the city, man. Uh, actually, me and El Hitter just did a song. You know, shout mm. out to uh, you know El Hitter holding it down. Shout out to my boy Bo Deal. We just just did that. Um, you know, me and Cowboy got something in the works too. You know, that's something I, I've been rocking with him um, for for a little minute now. Um, 
who else? Uh, Zay, Zay, Zay Osama, was yeah, it? Zay, Zay, yeah, Zay Osama. Yeah, yeah, Zay Osama hit me up trying to do something. So, you know, I'm, I'm supporting the city. I mean, I work with everybody right now. You know, I got my, you know, little bro Phil in the studio. You know, he's doing his thing right now. Um, okay. at, at this point, I'm really just open. You know what I mean? I'm just open to build and expand and just, you know, work. I'm not, oh. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm messing with everybody. You know what I mean? That's the type of person I am. That's what I want, that's what I want to hear. Hey, um, what can we expect in the next from you in the next year, I like, just do a year, twenty twenty. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say twenty twenty. Cause you just said, you just said the twenty twenty. How did we go? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, go on twenty twenty. All right. Well, check check this. Out. I do gotta go. Right. I'm, I gotta speak it into existence. So, New Year's. Right. We did Dre's. Dreas uh, nightclub in Vegas, and I think Future performed there for New Year's. Next year I'm gonna be performing there. Shit, can I come? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the goal. Can I come? Can I come? <laughs> can you know, I come? That's, 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 I just wanna I'm come. I'm speaking into existence. I'll be performing next year. You know, at Dreas on New Year's. Oh, we gotta get into this music, Nathan. You ready for this? Ready, bro. We gotta turn ready. up, man, and we gotta take it back, uh, bro. Real quick, uh, just leave the people out there that's been going through depression and everything. Yeah. Leave them with one message that you could just tell them, like, open up. Don't <clears> have that smile. Um, Don't have that smile. Just, you know, just be real with yourself. Be real with who you love. You know, express yourself. Never keep anything bothered in because, you know, the more you hold stuff in, you're going to erupt soon. You know, it's like you only can take in so much. Like, they have resources out to help people, not just because it's all for a reason. So reach out to, and use some of them sources. Don't be afraid, you know, and, and, and just reach out, you know, put it out there. You know, it's all in the universe. Anything you're looking for is out here. Definitely. And I definitely got to shout out real quick. Uh, Chance and the whole Social Works team, they definitely got uh, a program out, the State of Mind. So mm-hmm. I definitely want to get you involved with that and uh, okay. link you with Chance and everybody on that on that project. And uh, shout out to Bria Face Sean, uh, finding the number to the Suicide Prevention Hotline. So one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. So definitely get that call if you if you're going through some. Uh, don't don't just hide behind that smile, man. Uh, get some help. Yeah, don't take your life. I'm glad you didn't take your life, bro. So mm-hmm. we are gonna have some fun. We are gonna celebrate. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about the other situations. We gonna we gonna have some fun right now. Let's so have some fun. Let's do it, man. Run the social media for everybody so they can follow you. Follow me now if you're not already. It's Forever I'm P H O R E V E R I M. That's my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Twitter. You know, it's Forever I'm too. So like, you know, just get in, get in tune with me. I'm I, I'm very active on my social media. I do respond. I do sometimes follow back if you're a real page. If you fake, you're getting blocked. <laughs> Yeah. Them hair pages. Stop stop following us with them hair pages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you already know what it is, man. Your boy High Rod right here to lift it. <laughs>